welcome. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for fish pies. And for this recipe I have here three cups of fish that I steamed and flaked. You want to make sure I'm flaked as fine as possible. Some salt, chopped onion, lemon, half of a lemon, one scallion chopped, one hot pepper finely chopped, a tablespoon of minced garlic and a tablespoon of chopped bandania. I'm going to put up a frying pan or a skillet with some oil to heat up and now we're going to move on onto making the filling for our fish pies. When your oil is hot add your onions in. Just want to saute the onions a little bit before we add in the rest of the ingredients in this. Do not burn your onions and in the meantime Go ahead and squeeze your lemon and your fish. Once your onion starts to soften up, add in your garlic, hot peppers. Now you can make this as spicy or as mild as you like. Band in your and sight. Add a little bit of salt to this, just to season the seasonings. When your onions are nice and tender, add them to your fish. Add salt to taste. And some black pepper. Mix everything to combine. Okay, so once you've mixed in your seasonings, I'm going to just add some additional flavor to this because we want our pies to be, be really tasty and really nice. So I'm just going to add in a dust of paprika, a dust of cayenne pepper. Now go light on the cayenne pepper if you don't like your foods spicy. Some fish seasoning. If you don't have this fish seasoning, this is Maggie fish seasoning, you can use some all purpose seasoning. And I'm going to add a little bit of celery salt. Mix everything in. Cover your filling and you want to store it in your refrigerator because remember it's fish. You don't want to leave this outside. We're going to move on into making the dough part to make the patties. I have here two cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of yeast, half a teaspoon of salt. We need some dry flour for dusting and, I, and I'm going to start with two cups of water. I'm not going to need all of this. I'm just going to need some. I'll just put the how much I use down in the description box with the rest of ingredients for you all. So add all of your dry ingredients in one. Give it a mix and knead this to a medium consistency. When you finish knead your flour, cover it and set it aside and allow it to rest for at least 15 minutes. Now to making the dough balls for our fish pies. You need to need some extra dry flour to dust. So make it whatever size you would like. I like mine's pretty small. Now 
When you finish forming them into small balls, cover them for five minutes, let the gluten relax, and then we'll move on onto filling them. Okay, now we're going to move on onto filling our dough to make our fish pies. And before you start to fill them, you want to put up a frying pan with some oil to heat up on low heat or medium low. So to fill them, you want to open them out. Try not to put any dry flour on the dough because it wouldn't stick when you try to stick it. It'll open out in the oil. So take up a, a good bit. I'd say about two tablespoons. Or put how much filling you would like. Some people like less filling, some people may like more filling. So you put how much filling you would like, just make sure you don't overstuff it where it bursts. Okay, once you stick it like this, you can go ahead and um, use some dry flour to help you open out the, the pie. Just give the ends another squeeze. So, this is one pie, I finished filling. So I'm gonna fill the rest of them. And when I'm done, then I'll come back and we'll move on onto frying it. Okay, so I finished filled all of my pies and I have a little bit of fish remain. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you guys how to get another dish out of this fish. So I'm gonna set it aside. I'm gonna start frying my, my pies. Make sure your oil is nice and hot. And so when your oil, when your oil is nice and hot, you're going to add in your pies. And mine, they're pretty thin, so they wouldn't take very long to fry. If you don't turn them when you put them in, they will burst on the top side. So you have to make sure and turn them. So I'm gonna fry out my fish pies until they're nice and golden brown and then I'll show you what they look like. So here you have it, my fish pies. I hope you guys enjoyed today's dish. Make it, let me know down below if you like it. And thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!